Hi everybody, welcome back. So in this uh, video, we're going to be talking about the physics 2D section. We're going to be talking about buoyancy effector. So let's get started. Now I just added this sparkling water. Uh, the rest is from the previous video, uh, the ball and everything. The ball I had added a circle collider 2D again and a rigid body 2D. And it has a sprite renderer and this sparkling water just has a sprite renderer. So we're going to add the buoyancy effector to the sparkling water. Now, if you see my previous video, it's giving us a warning again. So what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm gonna add a capsule collider 2D, and I'm gonna check the use by effector and its trigger, so we don't have those warnings anymore. And this capsule collider, I'm gonna talk about it after I talk about the buoyancy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna shape this capsule collider to my um, actual sparkling water. So yeah, I'm just gonna shape this real quick, and I'm gonna put this, down to the water level it really doesn't have to be because when i add this buoyancy effector i could you know i just i'm just gonna fit it to the actual sparkling water just to show you so it's fit right there now the buoyancy effector it has this collider mass just like the area effector so we could either have it just global collisions so any collider or we could choose what colliders okay so we could choose what colliders can collide with this depending on what layer mask they have. Now there's density. So right here it says, it just depends. The density is if you want objects to float or sink. So if it has a lower density, then I think the objects will, yeah, lower density, they will float. A higher density, they will sink. But you could also mess with the, the actual rigid body, the mass, and that will also make an object sink or float. I'll show you that in a minute. Now surface level, now if you could see there's this little white line right here, that's the surface level. So if I change it, you could see the line updating. Let me move the line over here. So this is the line I'm referring to. So I'm gonna put the surface level a little below the water, the dampening. This is just the drag of the object. So if you want it to have like a, a weight effect, so it looks like it, it has some weight on it. And then there's flow, flow angle. Same thing with the uh, area effector. Depending on the the flow, the number of the flow angle, 45 is to the right. Uh, 90 will shoot the ball straight up again. Or in this case, it will just keep going up like this, looking like it's bobbing. Uh, right or 270 will go to the left, and 180 will shoot the ball towards the bottom of the glass. There's magnitude, so how fast you want the flow of the water to be and the variation of the flow. So now if I hit play and I did everything correctly, the ball should fall down and just kind of float in the water. As you can see, it kind of floats in the water. Now, as you're gonna see, it's gonna fall out because even though we have a collider, the collider is set to uh, its trigger so it's not actual colliding with anything. So what you could do to fix that is you could add another collider. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an edge collider 2D. And what an edge collider 2D is, is just a line that you could shape to pretty much whatever you want it shaped to. So I could add dots anywhere I want and I could shape it to whatever shape I want. So for this case, I'm just gonna do it real quick just to show you guys. And that's pretty much it. And this one, we're not gonna put its trigger. We're just gonna leave it as it is. So now when the ball actually falls, it's gonna fall into a cup. And then it's gonna, you know, move towards the right. And it's actually gonna collide with something. So as you can see, it collides with something. Of course, I would have to make it a little more because you could see it's still popping out a little bit. So I would have to scoot the collider in more but that's how that pretty much works. Now, if you wanted to give it that watery effect, all you, uh, what you could do is you could add a, an image, and that image you could, uh, let me move the canvas, set it to camera, move my main camera, so I could get this image and set the canvas to the order layer to 10. We'll get the image and we'll just kind of fit it into the water the best we can. And then we'll give it a blue tint and then we'll lower the opacity, maybe to 100 or 80. And then when we hit play, we should kind of get that effect that the ball is in the water. 
as you can see it actually changes that color so this is outside of the water this is inside of the water that's how you kind of get that effect but we're gonna keep moving on so that's pretty much it for the buoyancy effector I'm gonna turn this off and this actually I'll just delete these now we'll add another empty game object we'll go to physics 2d again it's probably be the last one yeah this will be the last one the capsule collider now this capsule collider just like any other collider you could you know change collisions so the shape of it you could add a physics material so like I said just right click go to create 2d physics material 2d it'll give you this little icon you can change the friction the bounciness so if I go to the ball and right now it doesn't have no collider or no physics material when I hit play when it falls it should just fall into the ground and just kind of just stay there so oh there was actually something right there colliding with it oh let me see oh I have my actual game object right there so now if I hit play it's gonna fall down and just collide onto the ground as you can see but if we add a physics material and let's say we could add the physics material to the rigid body or to the circle collider it really doesn't matter it, it has the same effect now there's the bounciness and the friction I set mine to uh, bounciness of one now these go from zero to one even though you could raise it all the way you want it won't have any effect it's just zero to one so if I hit play you're gonna see it's gonna have an actual bounciness this time so you can see it's bouncing this time and like I said it doesn't matter so if I go to here and I put none so there's none on the rigid body and I put it instead on the circle collider like I said it's gonna have that same exact effect so yeah same exact effect it bounced the same height so that's uh, I'm there's trigger like I said if you want or we'll go back to here the capsule collider there's uh, is trigger if you want it to be a trigger if you want it to be affected by an area effector a buoyancy effector a distance effector uh, there's more effectors that I will talk about now we could set the offset so the game object is this gray circle so it's offset by 0.6 of this circle and you could set the Y the size you could change the size right here or you know here and then you could also change the direction from vertically up and down to horizontally left and right so now if I change the size right here as you can see now it's horizontally and then like I said this is just information I mentioned this in the previous video it's just debugging tools you can see if it has a rigid body you can see if it has a rigid body material on it stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, I want to keep it short and the next videos I'm gonna be talking about these other colliders like I said they're pretty much all the same but I want to mention them that way nobody feels like uh, I skipped one or anything like that uh, so I'm gonna mention the circle collider composite collider and probably have time for the constant force and the distant joint hopefully and uh, but yeah thank you for everything if you guys are liking this video hit that like button if you guys want to see more uh, videos like this hit that subscribe vi uh, button if you guys want free assets, free scripts, free codes, free sprites, head on to my website, robust-games.com. I'll leave a link in the descriptions below. Check it out. I have my uh, two games that are out on Google Play, and one of them's on itch.io. So you could check that out on my website. So thank you once again.